Well, here we are. Time to pick up the starter motor for the bulldozer. Little business complex here. And this is the best place, I think, in London to get them done. Cheap, quick, and great quality. Got it back now, all set. Let's go to the farm. Well, I'm on the side of the road now. And I gotta get way over there, 800 feet, to get to my bulldozer. Through two feet of snow. So there's my transport unit because that's a 50 pound starter motor. Let's go for it. Oops. Made it. Sure is lots of snow. Kind of cold on this January day. One bolt's a real pain in the ass. You gotta crawl underneath of this thing. And it's snowy. Well, anyways, RCB, that's the only tools you need. And way down in there is where it goes. It is so nice working on something that's been sitting outside for 56 years compared to working on a 10 year old car. All the bolts just slip right out, just like a flaccid phallus after coitus. It's just amazing. Only if my whole life could be that easy. Now to slip the bulbous head back into the awaiting orifice. Now to tighten the nuts so they're pressing good and hard. Sucker. Put the final bolt in. Oh, I just don't look forward to that. Here we go. Well, that's what the undercarriage looks like. She be. Oh. The final one. Oh, it just slips right in. So nice. Yeah. Oh, done. Thank God. Now for the long journey back out. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Sucks to be old. Ugh. Made it. Sweet. Oh, just reconnect the wires and we'll get a fresh battery for it. Done. Now let's see if this little car battery, we have a ready special, can start this giant 750 cubic inch monster. I got an old comforter on here to cover up all the controls. So now I pull the compression release knob. 
push the starter button, choke is pulled, let's see what's going to happen. Wish me luck!
sweet. Oh, the track vibrations vibrate the whole vehicle. Well, 200 bucks, I guess it was worth it for a rebuilt starter.